well, hello, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Ink for October. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Tony Hunt. I talk about healing crystals and art products. Today, we're going to be discussing, well, mostly everything from Derwent. I like Derwent as a brand, but in particular, I like their Derwent Intense Blocks, and they also make them in pencil form. Now, this is a water-soluble pressed ink in both of these forms, and you can use them dry or wet or a little bit of both. So today, I'm going to show you a little demonstration on how you can apply these. I'm going to talk about why I like the ink more than watercolor, and I'm going to do a little demo. So if it's something you're interested in, just keep on watching. Let's start off by just taking a peek at the materials. They come in a few different quantities. This is just a set of 12. And as always, I always have swatch, little swatch cards for everything. And this is what the set of 12 looks like. They have a nice little palette here you can mix with, color here. And this is what one of their sticks looks like. And you can break these up. You can make your own little travel paint pan. Derwent, I believe, also makes these in little paint pan forms now. When I first got this set, they didn't. But, um, yeah, they do now. I like the blocks. They work just fine for me, so that's what I'm sticking to. Now, they also have these in open stock. And this is a little, I think this came, this is like a little tackle box thing that I stole from my husband. <laughs> but, yeah, I got these extra colors open stock, probably from Blick. I don't remember. And these are the colors that I felt kind of filled a hole in this. And these mix really well. So I know you can get like a set of 72. I'm not sure if you need that much. It's just my opinion. But um, here. So here's the original 12. You get a nice variation of warm and cool of each primary color. You get a nice pinky, purple, teal, and some neutrals. Now, I noticed that the set didn't really have a nice true blue that didn't have what I considered a true green. So those were some holes I wanted to fill. So as you can see, I got some other colors to supplement this set. And they are numbered. They don't have names. They just have numbers. Okay, and the other kind of intense product I have are the pencils. This is a 24 set, and again, these come in multiple quantities. And here is the basic set, and I will show you how these work in just a second. Now let's look at the swatches. Now on these swatches, as you can see, I got some little um, inserts here, and that's because I've picked up a few either open stock or in subscription boxes that were different, that um, had a different number on it so I added it to my swatch card and I have a little pencil case with a couple more in it and I have these swatched out both dry and wet because the pencils are very useful both ways now before I get into swatching these out so you can see how to use them I wanted to point out some of my favorite ways and why I like the, the Derwent Intense line this is a piece of fall corn. Some people call it Indian corn. I love drawing the seasonal corn because there's so many fun colors. And each kernel is its own unique thing going on. So what I like to do first is maybe lay down my colors as I see them. Yellows, reds, whatever. And then the ink you can layer on top of itself once it's dry. So it's different than a watercolor because you can layer upon layer to get multiple effects. And let me see if I can get a close-up here, if it'll focus. Some of these kernels have little lines, little specks, little interesting tidbits in it. And you can go back in with your pencils to make all those interesting details that perhaps you can't get with the intense blocks and a brush. And I also like to use the blocks to map out big areas for my pastel underpaintings. So those are very useful. I'll take the dry intense blocks, block in some color, take a wet brush, rub it in, and ta-da, you have a simple, easy, quick 
under painting to a pastel work or any work really you can use it under anything all right so next we're going to get into how you can use them on watercolor paper something i think is good to point out that the derwent sticks at the end have a number this one says 0700 these correspond with your pencils these have names though this says fuchsia 0700 and they are the exact same color so it's really nice if you are working with your sticks and you can't get the, the precision you want well you can go hunt down the exact color in your pencil let's start off with this really pretty ocean blue color now i mentioned before you can use these to block in big areas of color on an underpainting The real magic happens is when you add the water to it. Ta-da! Beautiful. You remember once this dries, you can layer on top of it and you don't you won't be able to re rework this after it dries, which I find convenient. The next way I use them is like a watercolor. I actually paint from these. And I mix my colors in this tray. Or I have a little silicone pad over here that I'll mix them on too. So I will take my wet brush right onto my block. Usually by the end of my painting, this tray is all a mess, just like so, and I'll actually paint with it. Now you can get some other really neat effects by wetting your paper first, and taking your dry block, and coloring on wet paper. Or if you get your block wet and kind of let it set for a little while, it will uh, activate and then you can somewhat draw with them a little easier, like that. Now let's take a look at the pencils. I'm going to start using this pretty violet shade, that's 0800. You can use these exactly like you use the sticks. You can use it dry and much like a watercolor pencil. So if I'm gonna draw with these, do a sketch or whatever, this is what I go for first. And you can do your whole work in these ink tense pencils. You don't have to activate it. However, I think that's where the magic happens. But as you can see, you can layer this up just like a watercolor pencil. But the fun really is when you get them wet. Look at that, just beautiful. Let's get our paper wet first. Comes off a little more intense when the paper underneath is wet. And you can actually get your pencil wet and draw like that. This doesn't work as good as the other two ways. It's only really intense for a few seconds. But you can get some very nice detail and you can keep the tip very sharp to do some interesting works. And if you don't want to get it wet because you think it'll bleed, that's when you wet your pencil and go in. Now, of course, I did all these swatches on watercolor paper. If you don't use a whole bunch of water while working with these, you can use a mixed media paper. I've done that too. But I like watercolor paper because it's got a little texture to it and I think it gives your piece a little interest. Let's do something fun and festive.
here is our finished piece of art. Now, I got this strange orange mat and a package, like a pack of pre-made mats. And when I got it, I thought, when am I ever going to use that strange orange color? Well, since it's Halloween and we had an orange pumpkin, I thought I'd sneak it on this just to use it up. Because I will never in a million years have anything else to put this orange mat on. Well, this is how I use my Derwent Intense blocks and pencils, as you can see. I use them both interchangeably in a piece. I think they're fun. They're one of my favorites. I hope you either try them out, pick them up. If you already have them, let me know down below how you get along with them. I would love to know what you guys are up to. Let me know what you've been up to for Inktober, too. I like to hear from you guys. And I'll see you in my next ink video. Bye!